Thanks for choosing to worship with People of Hope. Our midweek Advent services feature Holden Evening Prayer, a sung liturgy. If you would like to sing along, the words will appear on the screen at the appropriate time. If you don't want to sing along, just sit back and enjoy a peaceful time of worship. Thanks again for joining us this evening. May you have a blessed Advent. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, and so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The reading is from Luke chapter 1. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent, to the, sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph. Of the house of David, the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your room and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom, there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit has come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born with the Holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who said it was barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, here, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Hey, good evening. I thought I'd share something a little different with you tonight as we wrap up our midweek service about nothing being impossible with God. So for you tonight, How the Grinch Learned the Magnificat, a Christmas parody by Reverend Emmy Kegler. There are hundreds of carols we sing every year, filling the season when Christmas draws near. These hymns are familiar and loved very dear, and we sing loud and proud about midnights so clear. But some songs get forgotten in the midst of the season, songs that have been with us 
long for a reason. Songs someone carefully thought up and wrote out. Songs that are all what the season's about. Today's story is that. The song of sweet Mary, who faced some good news, exciting and scary. She was carrying Jesus, God's very own son, and sing today's story in adoration. My soul is enraptured, uplifted, fulfilled, for God has seen me and I purpose was willed. Though I am quite humble, unimportant, and small, God has chosen me to be the Savior of all. But I should not be shocked that God chose a girl. God's made unusual choices since the start of the world. You'd think God would choose big names, the mighty, the strong. God should rain down power to fight and right wrongs. But in all the stories I've ever been told, God works in the outsider, the young or the old. Those who we think are empty-handed and poor are the very one God comes to and loves more and more. God isn't impressed by riches or appearance. God looks at the heart and sees what is nearest. If your thoughts are ungood or unkind or untrue, God will not let you hurt whoever you choose. God isn't excited about rulers or kings. God knows earthly might is a dangerous thing. God remembers the promises and seeks out the lost. God is writing the world no matter the cost. All the Who's down in Whoville love the Magnificat, but the Grinch, still learning his lesson, did not. I'm confused, the Grinch said. At first it seems sweet God, that God looks on the lowly and thinks that they're neat. But Mary says God takes the, the strength from the strong and sends rich away empty, and, well, that seems wrong. I thought God loved all of us exactly the same. Choosing some over others sounds like a shame. This isn't a song we should sing in the season. This song is confusing and feels without reason. Life isn't fair, and I do wish it would be, but now's not the time to talk about should be. We've got to get ready for family and feast, for singing and joy and cooking roast beast. Cindy Lou Who, the little Who, whom you may remember, listen kindly to the Grinch's grumps throughout December. I think, Cindy said after thinking a lot, there must be a reason for the Magnificat. Christmas began with the birth of a child, and while it sounds cute, the scene was quite wild. Rich men called Magi, who studied the stars, packed up their camels and brought gifts from afar. Expecting a new king to be born very soon, they checked at the palace, as one ought to do. But he was born in a stable, filled with smelly old sheep. His parents were homeless, had nowhere to sleep. His dad was a carpenter, not very wealthy, and I can't imagine sleeping in hay is healthy. But still, the Grinch said, I thought God was fair. I thought God viewed each of us with just the same care. If that's so, why does God feed some and not others? Shouldn't we split it between all sisters and brothers? I think, Cindy said after thinking a bit, that God's idea isn't unfair or unfit. The rich who's have money, they're already eating. But for those on the edges, there is no more seating. If God is ensuring the poor get some too, God isn't unfair. God's thinking it through. God's evening out is unfairly done, feeding the hungry and forgetting none. This is called justice, Cindy Lou who reminded making things equal and right for all whom in kinded. Some who's already have more than they need. God's concern is for those who are trampled by greed. Justice means some, when something goes wrong, God will right it. And to that hard work of change, we're invited. To fixing what's broken, to righting old wrongs. I think that is why we sing Mary's great song. But still, 
the Grinch said. It doesn't seem fair to take from one person to even the share. If I earned it, I keep it. I can give it away if I want to, but God taking it, 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 it isn't okay. How can I buy gifts if God looks down on money? Can we cook roast beast if God sends us off hungry? Once I stole food, but I brought it back to you. Now when I make food, I buy it all new. If I'm not the one causing any unfairness, why am I being charged with justice awareness? I think, Cindy said, after thinking quite quietly, God worries about how the mighty got so very mightily. We're all loved by God, but not all born the same. Some who's get a bonus in life's complex game. I think justice, said the wise little Cindy Lou Who, is recognizing you're not just a product of you. There are systems in place that we didn't start, and some without the tiniest shred of heart. The roast beast we eat, were they cared for and fed? Who stitched the red Santa cap you wear on your head? Some who's are quite wealthy because they make choices that hurt others, and wealthy who silence hurt voices. When God questions wealth, it's because all too frequently, wealth has been made from who's who are hurt secretly. So I think, Cindy said after rubbing her chin, the challenge is for us to see the systems we're in. We have to ask questions. We have to keep checking. If who's do go hungry, it's time for inspecting. It's hard to keep learning, the Grinch grumpily said. This information feels like too much for my head. That's okay, little Cindy Lou let him know. You don't have to change everything by tomorrow. The power of community helps us keep going. We gather together to share questions and knowing. By hearing our stories, we change and we grow and become a force for justice in the world that we know. Hmm, hmm, the Grinch, his Grinchy face wrinkling. This idea of community has me thinking. He thought of how life had been pre-Cindy Lou, how he grumbled and grimaced and hated the Who's. He thought of how feeling left out made him feel like he would never sit with a friend for a meal. I hated Who Christmas because I felt ignored. I tried to ruin it and even the score. When you sang your Who songs, I was angry and rash. I stole all of your presents, your gifts, all your stash. I stole all the food and the Christmas trees too. I was so very angry, my dear Cindy Lou. But I realized the day when you all still sang songs that Christmas is about repairing wrongs. I wanted to fix all I'd broken and wrecked, even if you despised me for the thoughts in my head. But you didn't, the Grinch grinned. You invited me in. You gave me a seat said I was forgiven. The injustice of me being left out was repaired. You welcomed me even though I had been unfair. The Grinch smiled. Thank you, little Cindy Lou Who. It's hard to accept, but I know what to do. I'm part of a problem that's quite hard to see, but you know what? I'm stronger than its secrecy. Justice is a word that I want to keep hearing, and knowing that fairness is a hope to keep nearing. When I have been hurt, I want to declare it, and when I am the herder, I want to repair it. I want to help others, I want to learn lots, and I want to sing Mary's Magnificat. God remembers the promises and seeks out the lost, God is, God is writing the world, no matter the cost. An angel went from God. 
to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. See 
Watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy. God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us comfort us all of our days. Keep us whole. Gracious God. Let us pray. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father, Our Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, your, your will, will be done on earth, earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive, we forgive those who sin against, sin against us. us. Save us from, from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless our God and send thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days.